And as promised, time for Fowler's Facts. We bring in our statistician, Clinton Fowler. We're going to talk about Austin Forkner and Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki's recent fortunes, meaning the last couple of years. And right now, they hold the points lead in both classes, a share of it in the West, and loan participation with the red plate in the East. This is a big turn. Yeah, we had an incredible turn. We got Levi Kitchen in the West and, and now Austin Forkner in the East. They haven't held the red plate since 2019, held it in both regions. Adam Cincerulo had it in the West. Austin Forkner had it in the East. Um, and unfortunately, the curse exists. Austin Forkner gets hurt. He misses the last three rounds and loses the red plate. Adam Cincerulo crashes at the final round of the West Series. Devastating crash. He had an eight-point lead, and he only gets three points that night. He loses the title. JT, this curse, this team's curse, they put 110% effort in, but for some reason it just keeps coming up. Yeah, and it's been a long road to get back to this point. Uh, you know it's not for lack of effort if you've ever been around that team. So it is nice to see some parody, to see one of the most storied teams in the paddock kind of get back to glory. Now they just have to finish, right? They had gotten back here, now they have to, to make good on it. Boy, those are some tragic seasons when you look back Fortner and St. Cirillo were dominant at the beginning of that campaign. Uh, maybe remind us of just how good, especially Fortner was early in 2019. Yeah, you know, just incredible how much wins he had had. In 2019, he had five wins in seven rounds, uh, we just, which leads to the fact that he's now got 13 wins after his win in Detroit this past weekend. That puts him third all time, tied with Jeremy McGrath, a rather large name, and Jet Lawrence, a name we might be familiar with right now. Um, incredible this put him amongst those ranks. You got James Stewart and Nate Ramsey, number one and number two on that all time list. So some pretty incredible company. JT, uh, it's been two years since Austin Forkner won a race. That was in Foxborough 2022. How hard is it to come back from injury and win in that first race? I think the mental side has been the most challenging for Austin because he's come back, he's done the rehab, which is a normal part of super motocross. Like injuries happen, but the mental fatigue that he's had to go through and rebuild himself and come back to get to this level, uh, we don't often see that. And, and it's a story that should be celebrated. Uh, you could see the joy in his face and the relief. And, you know, he, he spoke so much on the podium this weekend about the positivity and how his perspective has changed on racing. And also think that's just a part of being 25 years old now. And he's gone through the ringer to get here. So I'm cheering for him. You know, I don't really care who ends up winning the championship, but I just want to see him continue to find success and, and be out there amongst uh, the elite in this 250 East series. And Clinton, diving deeper into the data, it's not just the race win here. The fact that he's the points lead is pretty significant because he used to do this all the time. Even if he didn't win the title, at least contend for it. But now we haven't even seen that in a while. Yeah, I mean, it had been almost four years since he had held the red plate. And prior to that, he had held it for three years. And I think the interesting part is in those years, he held the red plate against a guy named Chase Sexton. He held the red plate against a guy named Dylan Ferrandez. And then in 2022, he didn't hold the red plate against him, but he did race against Jet Lawrence. So it's interesting. He's been racing guys that are in the top eight of the 450s, and he was beating them. And so, JT, I look at this. What's it take for him to get back to that level? Well, I'm sure that fact is not lost on him, right? He had another name to this. Justin Cooper was another rider that was in that East Coast Championship that you could say he threw away. Uh, but I don't think we can necessarily think in those terms yet, right? He's got a lot of work in front of him. He needs to continue to rebuild and establish himself in this 250 class. And then we can worry about his what his 450 future holds. Because I would say one race does not a trend make, right? It was awesome. It was great. Hopefully it continues. But let's just put, you know, take one step at a time and put one foot in front of the other and see what maybe next year brings. I hate to do this to you, Clinton, but unfortunately, Austin cited not looking at numbers as the key to this. They're just going off of ride well. If you feel good and you feel you rode well, everything will work out. That's what Ryan Hughes, as coach, is preaching. Don't worry about the lap time. Don't worry about the result. It worked one time. Uh, will you take it either way? Sometimes, sometimes it's about feelings, not numbers. Will you accept that? I can accept that, especially in Austin's, Austin's circumstances. He, he needs to just focus on enjoying those races for sure at 25. Yeah, because it has definitely been a tough road for him. And uh, I said it didn't matter what the result was going to be, but 
Yeah, when he won, it mattered. He was pretty happy. All right, thanks for the data, Clinton. We'll see you at Glendale. See you there, guys. Now we're back to Peacock and running Western races. And that'll be 3 o'clock race day live on Peacock this weekend. And 8.30 Eastern will be when the racing starts from Glendale. So do not miss that. Now we're back to Peacock and running Western races. And that'll be 3 o'clock race day live on Peacock this weekend. And 8.30 Eastern will be when the racing starts from Glendale. So do not miss that. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.